Hey everyone, it's Nate. Today I'm going to show you how to instantly boost your paycheck. Let's get it. Welcome back everyone. My name is Nate and I'm here to help you master your money. So I've been doing quite a bit of research about something and that's the fact that a lot of you are getting underpaid and you don't even know it. It's ridiculous. So today I'm going to show you four ways you can instantly boost your salary. So like I mentioned a second ago, a lot of you are getting underpaid and there's a reason for that. And one of the more common reasons why you're getting underpaid where you're at is because you've been there a long time. Now I know that this goes against what the old adage was that if you stay at one place for a long time, you work your way up and you could make a lot of cash that way. Well, in some cases that is true, but that is not the norm anymore. In fact, it is quite the opposite. When you stay at a place long term, on average, they're going to give you about a 3% raise every year to cover cost of living increases. But with a trick that I'm going to show you, you can actually increase that amount to 10, 20, 30% or even higher. So I'm going to get right to it and start out with the list of things that you can do to increase your salary. I'm going to start out with the things that have the lowest impact and I'm going to move down to the things that have the highest impact. So step one, this is going to be the easiest, simplest, and least risky way to increase your salary. And that is simply to ask for an increase in your salary. If you go to your boss and you communicate all the ways that you bring value to the company, that you are an asset to the team, and you just hold it all down in your sector, and even go above and beyond what you're supposed to do to help things out, well, in this case, you have a pretty good chance of your boss saying yes to a raise. Now, depending on where you're at, this could be handled a few different ways. This could be handled by giving you maybe an extra dollar per hour raise, or an extra percent or two, or whatever variant of those things. But the key is here is that you're a valuable member of your team and you contribute regularly to the functions and projects you have going on. So step two is going to take a little bit longer than just an instant, but this one can have a significant impact on your career. This is going to be to get a professional certification or certificate. So depending on the field you're in, this could be a couple different things. For me, a professional certificate that I could get that would increase my salary would be a CPA or a EA or enrolled agent certification. In the accounting realm, having a CPA can dramatically increase your earning potential. Year over year, this could potentially mean a 10% increase in salary over not having it. There's actually a comparative study done between an accountant without a CPA and an accountant with a CPA, and they compared their earning potential. And they found out from their calculations that the accountant with the CPA would earn $1 million more in their career versus the accountant that did not have the CPA. And so depending on your industry, there's going to be different professional certifications that you can get to help you out. So what you're going to want to do is do the research to figure out what certification could help me out in the position I'm at, or what certification could I get that would help me out possibly with the job I want to get, the next place I want to be at. Look forward, look ahead with these because some of them can be really hard to get. So now on to step four. This is going to be the creme de la creme, the best way to get huge. It's a huge problem. The huge problem. That is a huge problem. Huge, 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 huge. Increases in your salary and that is going to be to job hop. Now I know that this term has negative connotations. I know that for a long time, job hopping was considered bad. But again, things have changed. So when I say job hopping, here's what I mean. If you change companies every three to five years, your earning potential is significantly higher than those who stay in one position at one company for a long time. Now, while this is an incredible way to boost your salary, you want to do it the right way. And what I mean by that is do not change jobs every six months to get a bump in salary. Pretty soon after like a couple times, like two or three times, it won't take long. Employers will stop considering your resume because it looks like you're flaky, you don't stick around a long time, and they want people that'll stick around for a, at least a few years. So typically on a professional resume, if they see more than four places of work in the past 10 years, it's going to raise some red flags. They're going to want to ask some questions. So in order to best do this and to best maximize your earning potential, but also keep yourself desirable to possible employers, you want to make sure you keep the time you spend in each company between three and five years. 
So not only will this increase your earning potential and keep your resume looking well, but also it will provide significant value to the company you're at. I've seen a lot of times with people that are in their roles for a long time, they've been there, they're very complacent, they're stuck in their ways, and they do things one way and don't seek ways to make things better. They don't strive to challenge themselves to go beyond what is normal. So aside from the obvious financial benefit to you, it also benefits the company you're with because you're constantly fresh whenever you go somewhere and you're trying your very best as compared to someone who's been in a position a long time and maybe is just doing a mediocre job. Now, I'm in no way saying that people that stay at their jobs in a certain position for a long time are mediocre in any way. Just from what I've seen, the people that don't care as much, they've been there longer. So the really cool thing with this trick is you could potentially double your salary for doing the exact same job you do right now. So I'm an accountant and for example, I was working at a construction company last year and just from switching from being an accountant at a construction company to being an accountant at a CPA firm, I increased my salary by 66% from one shift. That, that that's, that's huge, that's massive and I'm doing a very similar job to what I did before, not all the same, but it's pretty similar. So the learning curve was very minimal. So moving on to step four, and this is going to be the most important one, but that is gonna be very simply, add value to wherever you're at. I know it may seem cheesy, it may seem cliche to say that, but truly be an asset wherever you're at. Help out wherever you can. Always see ways to innovate and bring these ideas to your management. It may mean extra work for you in the short term, but big picture, looking at long-term things, when recessions happen and when budgets are slashed and when people are laid off, the people that are gonna be the last ones to be laid off are gonna be the ones that are the biggest assets to the team. So if you make yourself very valuable to a company, not only will you have a decent raise every year or so, but you'll also have job security. And job security, I think, at least for me, is one of the most important things about any place you could possibly work at. So with that being said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video today. I hope that it provided value for you and helped open your eyes to the possibilities that are out there and the little things that you can do to boost your salary. My name is Nate, and I'm a redhead, and I had a fun time doing this. And I will see you next week. Bye.